probably or easier to make a cookie cutter metal guitar because I mean you know metal it's easier to work than wood you know from a machining standpoint but these guitars definitely aren't cookie cutter guitars they're uh, some of them you know you can tell are hand ground you, you can tell somebody actually set there the old way of, of making something almost like a blacksmith would make something or it adds something a little bit special to the guitar and kind of gives it the feel of something that's handmade because it is completely handmade and that's every part on the guitar fits there's nothing that's um uh, that stands out as uh, being like well we really couldn't spec that one so we just we're gonna have to use that um even even when you look at the small details like the screws are slot head screws versus phillips head which uh i think kind of fit with the aesthetic of the guitar that may not matter to some people but you know if you really have an eye for detail, things like that really make something cool, I think. On that particular one, it, the, one of the pickups is a TV Jones Filtertron, which is a Gretsch pickup. It's, you know, it's a pickup you would have found on Gretsch's in the late 50s. And uh, TV Jones does a great reproduction of the pickup, even down to the, the formulation of the magnets and everything gets it so that it's, um, you know, period correct. If you, understand, if you know anything about the history of Bigsby, I mean, Paul Bigsby was a motorcycle mechanic. I mean, a lot of the parts on a Bigsby tremolo are actually motorcycle parts. Um, which really, really fit with this guitar because you could kind of see, you know, somebody in a garage, you know, pounding out metal and you can really tell the amount of thought that went into it because they chose to use a B16 Bigsby, which is not a Bigsby you see on a lot of guitars now. It's still manufactured, but um, the B16 has a really, really big bass on it. I mean, even, even, uh, even goes up to the, uh, the bridge pickup, you know, so it's one complete piece. Um, and the B17 is something cool. I mean, you don't see it very often, but they've modified it. They put a tension bar in there, which really gets you thinking that they want the guitar to look cool from an aesthetic standpoint, but they also want you to function really well. Putting that tension bar in there and that roller makes a huge difference. You get a, you get a sharper break angle over the bridge. It makes a massive difference over how the guitar sounds. <laughs> 